Hi, it's Jess here from nightjess.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you um, a little notepad um, using the Peaceful Poppies um, designer series paper. Um, so it's quite simple, just one little panel and a sentiment matted um, to make quite a nice little little notepad. I'd quite like to have that on my desk to write on. Um, so these are what I've made for customer thank yous this month. So if you shop with me, then you should have received one of these and I hope you like it if you did. Anyway, stay tuned and I'll show you how easy it is to make a covered notepad. So to make the notepads, I'm using these. I bought them. They're A6 memo pads and they're lined, um, which I thought were quite nice for a change. I often... Um, get plain ones so that's quite nice when I buy in this size so you get three in a pack um, try and remember how much I paid for them I think it was less than a pound um, and I got them from I think it's called the Yorkshire Trading Post um, so it was somewhere we were staying just before Christmas and um, I got a few little notepads from them I'm using the Painter Poppies uh, Peaceful Poppies designer series paper. So I'm using this half sheet, which whatever you can see there, it comes in a 12 by 12. It's got stripped down one side, stripped down the other. So just cut it in half. And uh, so I'm using that as the front. Uh, so I'm going to team it up with some old olive. And then I think for the sentiment bit, I'm going to do a bit poppy parade. And those are the sort of coordinating colours. I'm going to use the uh, a little note from Butterfly Gala. I just think that's really nice on a uh, notepad. Oh, and I need a scrap of Whisper White as well to do that. So scrap pads just behind. So that little bit there will do nicely. Okay. So I've got my Poppy Parade um, ink there ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down. So it's A6 which is a quarter size of a four. So I'm going to cut this this way to the half size. I've got mine marked up there. So it's ten and a half centimetres or it's four and an eighth. If you're working in inches. That's the UK size. Um, I imagine if you're in America and you've got American sized paper, you'll be able to buy pads that are a quarter size of your standard paper, I imagine. So, this is, um, it's about an eighth of an inch deep, I'd say, about an eighth. Yeah, yeah, it's about an eighth, but what I'm gonna do so I'm going to sort of fold it round. Now I want it to be over a fraction at the bottom because that makes it easier for coming up. So I'm just going to, what I'll do, eyeball it like that and then get my stylus from my scoreboard and I just score along there so that can now fold up like so and then I might upend it take my stylus again no I'll just fold it over Just fold it down at the back there to get it in the right place. And then we can use our bone folder to score that quite nicely. And then we can do that one that we made. She says, dealing with little amounts is quite hard. Okay. 
get that one down. Make sure it's straight. And then we can crease that. You could use your scoreboard because I think that is about an eighth and that would have been easy to have scored. That's the front, that's the back. So sure, fingers and thumbs, I'm not feeling very well. So there we go. So forgive me if I'm being a little bit clumsy. So that's that, that can get stuck on there. And then all we need to do is trim that at the back. So we'll trim it down. Uh, yeah, take an inch off. So, if I put that second crease on the inch mark there, two and a half centimeters, trim that down. So then we have our actual size which is, if I do it on my trimmer, then I've got my centimetres ready to read off. So, put it there. So we're talking around, around 18 centimetres and seven inches. That's what we're looking at. Don't know why I've put my trimmer away, because I want it again. Um, I'm going to take this off because we don't need that and all I'll be doing is gluing this to the back bit of the pad so that this opens right up so now we need to decorate this so all I'm going to do is cut a panel out of this to stick on there so I'm going to use as if as making a card and I could easily do this as a card front and I may well turn this into a card as well. So I've got my mat sizes there so three and seven eighths for me um, or if you were working on centimetres you'd do it at ten centimetres. So cut that that way and then that gives us our mat going that way nicely with our eighth of an inch border all the way around so then we just need to trim the top down you can take it off the top you take it off the bottom I'm going to take it off the top so my normal mat size there is five and five eighths you do it to 14 and a half centimeters would probably be best to do it that way so we'll take that top bit off and then that will map beautifully on there. So it's quite simple. Simple and lovely. Oh, and then we've got a little bit of that. Which you could put across if you wanted to. Might not, might. I'm going to put it to one side. And then we're going to do a bit of stamping to do our sentiment. A stylus in there for the moment so I've got my little note I've got my scrap I've got my poppy parade so I am ready to rock so I'm gonna be cutting this out so, I forgot to wet my chamois. Never mind. So, I want this. I'm going to use my little trimmer. I'm going to use my little trimmer for this. And I'm going to eyeball that about straight. that on 
that straight line there. So we've got it pretty much straight. I might trim a bit more off so it's a bit closer. So I'm going to line that up with that line there. Take a bit off. Then I might line that up with the edge of that blade. Take that off. So that's quite close at the top, but not quite close at the bottom. So I'll take some more off. eyeballing it to have the same distance from the blade edge see how that's doing I go on forever me there yeah, quite like that and uh, what have I managed to put in the way? Is it? Uh, I am going to cut this off at a slant and the same sort of slant at the other end and then I'm going to stick it onto my Poppy Parade scrap with a bit of Tombow can I get it out of that? yeah so I'm going to eyeball that so that it's doesn't need cut in at that end bit too much there. Bit of oozing going on. And then we just snip it off. You've seen me do this before. I like it as an effect. I know I have to take some more off there but I wanted to get this down. Now you could use trimmer for this little bit. But when you've got long scissors, it's quite easy just to do it like that. So that's that cut. And then that's ready. And that will just get glued on. On there. I think that's quite effective. And you can imagine that on a card with a different sentiment I could go for old olive I just thought the old olive would get lost on the background so this just needs all gluing together so we'll just get some Tombow and I will glue the DSP on first I think So you get six of these from a sheet of DSP, you get two of these sheets in paper pack, so that allows you to make 12. You can of course, no reason why I couldn't use any other sheet, um, but I just thought the way that this DSP was printed that it looked lovely. So if you're making for craft fairs, you get 12 of these out of a paper pack. And you think the paper pack's £10.75. If you're selling your notepads, £1.50. You're going to be 30p 
33p thereabouts for the actual notepad. Pull it over a bit. And you're going to be they're probably about 50p in the end. Cost you to make make a pound profit on each of them, which is good. And then we just put just a note. And I'm not going to pop it up. If I was doing this as a card, I'd pop this up on a, on dimensionals. But if it's a notepad, that could well be kept in your bag you don't want anything to catch it so I'm just going to eyeball that on there there we go that's me a little notepad ready to send now, as a thank you for shopping with me. So, there we go. So, if you'd like to receive something like that, then all you've got to do is shop with me. And anybody shopping with me in February, remember, you're going to get my online class free, as well as one of these handmade card. And if you use my host code, you also get some free product as well. So, all the measurements will be on my blog as usual. There'll be a link coming up. Please like and subscribe. Please go and explore some more. And if you want to do shops from me, there'll be a shop link down below and also on the blog. Okay, bye for now.